checking out. I just cast a healing spell on your b-hole. It should start to take effect soon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I'll take what I can get at this point, to be honest with you. If you can maybe cast another one, like, on my large intestine. Because I don't think it's really, like, the hole where there's a problem. I think it's the... I think it's the large intestine that could use some support, quite frankly. Oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. Start a prediction. Where will NL finish? Lose before finals. Lose in finals. Win the finals. I did not see Dan's uh, one hit away. Melania attempt. But I'm being completely sincere. When I watched Dan today, he I just the vibe I got from watching him was that he's got a chance today. Today's the first day he's got a chance. Obviously, if he was one hit away, then he had more than a chance, but like he was He's he's using techniques I've never seen before in my life. Like he he walks up to initiate on Melania. He crouches and then attacks, which apparently with the sword that he has gives him a uh, a, a different attack animation that comes out super quickly. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but to, to get a free hit like that with a a small window attached to it is is a blessing. Hey, hold on. I forgot what dive is. It's right click. Okay, saved. You peace. Hold on. This is kind of, honestly, this is just like driving down Granville Street. It's not even a contest, man. Don't need to jump. Doing great. Doing great. Look at this. So was that like a third place finish? I did also watch him dodge waterfowl dance. Like he was talking and uh, he, he ran away from the first waterfowl dance uh, flurry. Then he walked into the second one and perfectly dodged it. Perfectly dodged the third one and then like the fourth like little after attack and I was like, oh my god This guy is crazy. He's actually he's he's put in so much practice on this Oh, sorry, it's called molecule idiot. Sorry. He, he's, he's getting really good at dodging molecule <laughs> I thought molecule was at the start of phase two where um, you know, she falls into that uh, like a lotus flower. I thought that was Molecule, but I guess that makes too much sense. That's unlock camera. My mistake. My mistake. How could I be so stupid? Oh, that's Bloomin' Onion. Okay, Bloomin' Onion is honestly... Uh, that's a good name. Dude, I could go for a Bloomin' Onion right now. The crazy thing, so if you WebMD the symptoms that I've been having, I apologize for talking about this. Trust me, I would rather not be talking about this, but this is my life right now. Then every disease that they try to diagnose you with on WebMD has the same symptom. Loss of appetite. I have uh, the craziest appetite I've ever had in my entire life. I feel like I could eat an entire large pizza like three times a day. Um... I, which is what makes me think that I honestly have like a like a 25 foot long tapeworm inside of my body or something like that. Like I'm so hungry all the time. I've started having like psychotic midnight snacks. Like last night before bed, I made toast. Then I put... Uh, shredded cheese on top of the toast and microwaved it for 20 seconds it's like the worst grilled cheese i've ever had in my entire life it was like a kitchen nightmares grilled cheese it was one of the best things i've ever eaten but only because of the circumstances did you see that guy sacrifice his own life just to get a wafer thin slice of attention no that's not the that's not the right way this is not the right way Did you start lifting again? No, I just have like a tapeworm, I think. Which is okay, if, if it's true, it could certainly be worse. 
In fact, I think of all the worms that you can have, like, as a human being, I think a tapeworm might be, like, amongst the best. There's no way I should finish third on this one. Did you see what just happened? <laughs> I am thinking, like, how funny would it be if, after all, all the shit we've been through, if I uh, end up being diagnosed with a tapeworm, and then they give me ivermectin. I don't even know, like, I think I would just have to die. I don't think I could bring myself to take it at this point. But it, it would be a hilarious uh, prognosis for sure. No doubt about it. I've been having the most fucked up dreams too. Like I I dream, um, like last night, but, but pretty much every night, all I dream is that I'm looking after my daughter and I'm going like, where is she? I gotta keep an eye on her. I gotta keep an eye on her at like all times. And then I'm like, oh no, I haven't seen her for like 15 minutes. Uh, where is she? Is she lost? And then I wake up and I'm like, she's not lost. She's asleep. <laughs> and then I fall asleep and I have the same dream over and over. But even like in the dream, I know that I'm in bed. And I'm like, it's uh, even if I'm in bed, I've got to keep an eye on her because who knows where she is. And then I'm like, my awake mind comes to the surface for like a minute and is like, you're fine. She's in her crib right now and you're sleeping. And I'm like, oh, okay. Where is she? It's crazy. That's why I smoke cannabis. Well, you know. I honestly, I'm not being a hater. More power to you. Your tapeworm's trying to get you to be a good dad. Honestly, plus two for the tapeworm. I respect the parasite that also improves your fatherly abilities. I have chronic nightmares and weed kills it. I mean, I guess it's a positive. I will say, I haven't had my recurring dream uh, about waking up on an airplane to South Korea, realizing I signed the contract to teach English for 12 months and knowing that I'm locked in for one calendar year. I haven't had that. I used to have that dream about once a month. Now I, I probably gone like six months without having that dream. Maybe I've finally buried the trauma of, of my year abroad successfully. I don't know. What did you name your tapeworm? I mean, honestly, I feel like I gotta call my tapeworm like Domino or something like that. Cause he's got me craving pizza like crazy. Anytime I get the choice, I mean like, to be honest, so I went to the urgent care, right? They were like, mm, it's probably gonna be like an hour and a half till the doctor sees you, we'll send you a text. I went, and keep in mind, I have gastrointestinal issues. That's why I'm at the urgent care. Um, I went across the street and ate like a, a pizza that was just barely large enough for like one person to feel okay eating it. I would not describe it as a personal pizza. I would describe it as um, like probably two people would be better off splitting it. But I just man moded that shit. And I was like, that's it, it, honestly afterwards I was full, but I wasn't like disgusted with myself. I was like, I needed that. You see, there you go. Maybe we'll call it Lil Caesar. Like, my appetite is insane right now. There were two of you eating it, though. You and Little Caesar? I guess that's true. I guess that's true. You know you know what? True, true. That's pretty true. Yeah, that's pretty true. Don't even think, man. Just stand still. Don't grab me! Did you see the comment on the subreddit that was like, my 13-year-old brother grabbed NL and threw him off in one of those games last time we played Fall Guys. Ooh! That shit tilted me to oblivion. But then I was like, you know what? I'm proud of him. <laughs> I 
Is it true that to remove a tapeworm, they just hold food outside of your butt and wait for the worm to poke his head out? I do not think that that's true. That can't possibly be the, the way that you treat a tapeworm. There's no way that it is. It actually is. Come on, man. There's no way. And then they yank it out. I'm a doctor is true. You guys are actually, you're totally lying to me. You tell, they don't just give you like a, a dewormer, like a veterinary dewormer or something like that. No, they do not put a mouse trap on your ass. Come on. This is not a joke. This is my life, okay? I can't make it past the hammers. Whoa! This has been the weirdest round of Fall Guys of all time. It's been like the easiest rounds. We're gonna have a final with uh, eight people in it. Or I don't know, are we even on the finals? If it's actually a worm, can you take a photo of it on Twitter? Well, sure, if they do the thing where they play the clarinet right next to my butthole until it gets charmed and it comes out, then I would, I would take a photo of it for sure. But if it's a tapeworm, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna give me some pills. And then, like, I'm gonna crap it out amongst all the other detritus that I've been excising from my body lately. Dude, yeah, don't, don't they just use that gun from the Matrix? Where they see the tapeworm, like, crawling around in your stomach and then they isolate it with that weird claw gun? Everyone knows on Fall Mountain you go right side. It's just the fastest path. It's simple science. The sweet science. Boxing. I'd say acceptable path so far. I'm not worried about low grav. I'm not worried about low grav in the slightest. I love that for me. That seemed amazing. Can I make it on the first cycle? I don't think so. I'm insane. I'm, I'm the best to ever play Fall Guys. That was so easy. <laughs> He's back, baby. Thank you, little Caesar. High five. Okay. Choose prediction. Win the finals. I mean, dude, it's hard to get like a super belief in fall, guys. Because 15% uh, of people thought I was going to win that one. It's a game with 60 people in it. We gotta get fewer believers, but I know that's a hard position to argue from when we just won, so... It's hard to say. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna make a tweet. Hello? Let's just say hello. I'm playing Fall Guys. I gotta, I gotta pump the analytics a little bit after playing the Cycle Frontier. I gotta let people know, hey, I'm playing basic games again. I don't, that, those games for adults, people that hold PhDs in engineering, I'm not touching that shit anymore, okay? I'm back to playing stuff where you could just turn it on and it's like Coco Melon for adults. With Little Caesar. Gaming with Little Caesar? Honestly, this seems like the kind of title that if the corporation was paying attention to Twitch, I could easily get sued. What do you think about the Canucks potentially trading Miller and Besser? Honestly, I, the Canucks are a weird team, you know? They're, they're kind of ass, but they're kind of on the cusp. But they've kind of been on the cusp for like you know, two or three years, and they don't seem to be making the uh, the next step. So I think they should just do whatever they feel is best. I'm I'm over getting attached to players too much, and I'm I'm over like as soon as the general manager makes a decision, I'm like, oh, how could you possibly? You moved them for a fourth. We could have gotten a third for them easily. I'm now I just watch the just watch the dang games. Just enjoy myself. 
Even, like, w when we were pure garbage, I had a lot of good memories, you know? Watching uh, Jason Megna on the first line, trading Jared McCann for Eric Goodbranson for God knows what reason, just to increase our number of fights per season or something like that. There were still some good games in those years. It would be nice to have a chance to make some noise in the playoffs, but that's okay. It's just entertainment. My tapeworm and I got sued by Little Caesars? Bro, what's going on with the Fall Guys servers? This is madness. Yeah, honestly, like, it's kind of nice. I mean, the best position to be in is to root for the team that ends up winning the cup. However, the second best position is to root for a team that's got no expectations whatsoever. Like, you, the worst part of being, like, this was a bad season for the Canucks. Because we were supposed to be, like, you know, a middling team. And then we were in the basement until we fired our coach and general manager. Okay, I'm just going to close this out. So you're like, what the heck? I, I had high expectations and then it's all falling apart. When we were in the basement every year, I was just like, well, you know what? What, what are my hopes for this, uh, this season? I hope our rookie does well. I'm loading it back up. I'm loading it back up. Are the Epic servers and the Steam servers the, the same? Or is one of them on Azure and one of them's on Amazon AWS? Yeah, I feel like it would be bad. Like, being a Leafs fan would be really annoying right now. Because you actually are on paper like the. It's like being a San Jose fan during the 2010s, right? You're like the best team in the league on paper and then like... Surely, because I, I trick myself the same way every season, where I'm like, obviously, the Leafs can't lose in the first round every time. So, like, this is the year they're going to make it past, and then they don't. And I go, well, that's got to suck. I honestly, I have a lot of sympathy for Leafs fans, even if they are annoying when they come to Vancouver once per year. I mean, I'm sure Canucks fans are annoying to other fan bases as well, because they're, like, clinically insane. I, I, I can't believe this. You're, you're really going to let me play one game, get a win, and then kick me out? Fall Guys. Fall Guys game. Free for all. One like equals one kick of the server. There are issues we are screaming and investigating. Please scream with us. It's Wednesday, my beans. Reticulating spleens. Okay, well, I guess the Fall Guys servers are down. It's okay, the game's only two years old. <laughs> Back to the cycle. Try a different server in the options menu. Okay, hold on. I don't want to go out on a 100% on a, a win rate. That just doesn't feel right. Can I, can I put myself on a different server? Server region. Put me on US Central. That, that was probably what I was on automatically, man. Put me on US East. I'll deal with the latency. US East was working for me. Peloton stream. I'm telling you, you don't want to watch the Peloton streams right now. I'm dying on the damn bike. It's it's not good entertainment. US East works. We're saved. I love this comment. Dan beat Melania. No reaction. 
whatsoever. No reaction. No reaction. Ten seconds later, I got you. <laughs> oh man, you should have seen your face. Got him. He got me. I clicked on Dan's stream. Hey, anonymous gifter. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Much appreciated. Hold on. Among Us Bone? Sus Bone? Walt, you've been acting pretty sus lately. Kind of seems like there's an imposter amongst us. Don't lie to me, Walt. Dude, that was a hard obstacle course. I made it. Nice callback. Thank you. Thank you. I have no original thoughts in my head. Right now, all I've got is, um, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For all men who spill blood with me this day are my brother. May they ne'er be so vile, but battle gentle their condition. And all men will count themselves weak they were not here this Crispin's day. I mean, like, all I got in my head is, like, um, I'm going to get on my boat. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard, the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. That's all I got, okay? That's it. Impressions getting pretty good. Which one? The, the Kelsey Grammer impression or the Jean-Claude Van Damme impression? <laughs> Neither? I don't know. I feel like my Kelsey Grammer impression is, like, not that bad. Because I feel like I could... E I mean, I grew up watching Frasier, and I think that kind of turned me into a snob. So it's very easy for me to channel Frasier, because it's just sort of like... You motherfuckers, I hate you so much. It's just sort of like, you know, be a snob and talk in a deep voice. Like, Frasier is a very droll show. It always be like, the, the dad's always like, hey, Niles, how was your dinner party? And then Niles is like, oh, father, it's the worst thing I've ever been to in my entire life. Uh, all the couples got into a fight and then one of them got divorced right in front of us and he goes The dad goes that sounds terrible and then Niles goes that's nothing They also served red wine with fish and then the laugh track goes <laughs> Oh man, You can't serve red wine with fish apparently I didn't know that You piece. I was right in there. I was... Whoa! Don't do that. Everyone I... Because this is what was just said in chat. Everyone I've ever met who likes Frasier is a bigot. I like Frasier. I don't think I'm a bigot. You can like the show without... I mean, Kelsey Grammer himself has expressed some opinions I don't agree with. That doesn't mean... Uh... That Frasier itself is uh, like a red flag. I mean, Duck Dynasty? Sure, maybe. Frasier's just like a sitcom. It doesn't have that kind of power. You see, he's not the Scarlet Witch. He's literally just like a radio host. I know no one who likes Frasier. It won like nine Emmys in a row. It won best... Primetime comedy, like, from 1993 until 2002. What the hell is... Okay, sorry. Fraser? <laughs> How do you call it? It's Fraser, right? Fraser. It's not Fraser. Fraser? I 
I'm 24. What the hell is Frasier? I don't know how to describe it to you because the concept of a modern sitcom doesn't really exist anymore. They've all been turned into like the office knockoffs, like Parks and Rec and Modern Family and Superstore, okay? My parents like Frasier, they're a little bit racist. Yeah, your parents probably also like rotisserie chickens from Costco. That doesn't mean that everybody who eats rotisserie chickens from Costco is racist. Frasier was a very likable show. It cast a wide umbrella. It brought people together. Some people were laughing at Frasier because they're like, this show is droll. Some people were laughing at Frasier because they're like, these people are snobs, lol. I'm not getting bumped. You, I am the one who bumps. I don't think I've ever made it through this map. So this would be, this would be new for me. I'm gonna try to focus, okay? No. I mean, this is like the new slime climb. This is usually where I die because people try to jump the queue. Wait your turn. Holy cow. I thought I was dead. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're okay. Now just walk on the damn pipe. Okay, just walk under the... I'm scared. Just walk across the damn pipe. <sighs> just jump over the damn turbines. This is the most stressful map they've ever released for this game. Holy cow. I, I can't handle this, man. Just stay on the safe edge. Don't bomb me! Let me up. Okay, hold on. Am I, am I there? I think I'm gonna make it. Oh my god. It's like the longest course of all time. It's so scary. <laughs> How many? There's only, I think only like six people are going to qualify, man. That's the best course in the game. I kind of miss old uh, slime climb. I think we're in the damn finals. Can you imagine if this came out on release? I know, right? This is like, just doing this course is like the tournament of champions. That was crazy. Plus, I'm on US East, so I got so much latency. Okay, uh, rip to the believers. I've never lasted longer than like 30 seconds in this game. I don't understand it. People say, you, okay, you, I, I remember what people were telling me. You have to stay on the safer edge as long as possible. And don't jump unless you have to. So you want to be on like, no, you want to be on this side. Yeah, you want to stay on this side as long as possible. And the only jump if you have to. Stay on this, you're not really staying on this side. What the hell? This song kind of goes hard. I'm not on the safe edge. I'm trying, it's so hard to get back to the safe edge. No, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. That's so, that was better, that was much better. I, I definitely have to respect the safe edge a little bit more though. Okay, leave the show. That was the best I've ever done by far. Something about that one, it does not fit naturally uh, with my brain. Lose in the finals, pay it out. Hope the servers are still left. No, I'm not gonna do a viewer lobby. And the reason is, it's not because I hate my viewers. That's just simply, uh, that's ancillary. 
I prefer to play the Fall Guys uh, randoms because I actually think that they're worse. I, I think the average Fall Guys player is a lot worse than my average viewer is of Fall Guys. Because I see you typing in chat. Oh, I have a PhD in computer science. Oh, I have a, a master's degree in chemical engineering. I don't want to go up against you in anything. You got the dedication and the credentials. I want to play against like, you know, four-year-olds, basically. Have you seen the 16X size Taco Bell cheese it Hold on. 16X size Taco Bell cheese it tostada? That might kill your tapeworm. I've never eaten at Taco Bell, as I say, once every like two months. But um, I might make an exception for a 16X cheese it Taco Bell tostada. There you go, I ran the casino. Hey, Scuba Steve the First. Thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. There were tapeworms in the chat. Dude, maybe it is other tape. Other people out there are probably infected with a tapeworm. And the tapeworm is like getting them to type stuff that would make me eat something that would make my tapeworm grow. I, I probably just lost right there. Like, you don't even realize why you're typing it, but you're like, you know, eat a whole stick of butter. Hey, you know what would really help you is if you ate like a whole stick of butter right now. You got the tapeworm psychology, man. I'm sorry, Ezio, I didn't mean to, to take your spot, okay? I, I, I thought I would go to the left because usually people seem to go to the right. Climb the damn wall! I'm dead. I choose outcome. Lose before the finals. That was a fast one. Never dive on that one. Never dive. See, it's crazy for me because I assumed that, like, um, when you were already in the air, changing your posture um, couldn't really affect your ability to move that much. So I just thought I would extend my arms to make it more likely that I would cross the edge. But apparently in the world of Fall Guys, if you dive, it kills all your momentum. Like you hit some uh, choppy air. It changes your aerodynamic profile. Okay, so what's more aerodynamic if you're traveling in this direction? This position, a standing position with your arms up, taking up as much space as possible, or pointed ahead like Michael Phelps gunning for his eighth uh, gold medal at the Beijing Olympics. One, 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 one. You know what? Maybe we should set up a viewer lobby. You got me thinking that it, it might be a good idea. Hey, Scuba Steve, thank you again. You know what? You got me thinking. I've watched a lot of Adam Sandler movies over the past uh, two years. Definitely Happy Gilmore. Definitely Billy Madison. Hubie Halloween. Um, the Hustle. I watched Uncut Gems again a couple months ago. Maybe I should watch Big Daddy. I kind of... Big Daddy was like... The first Adam Sandler movie I was not that into as a kid. Because I was like, he's not even crapping his pants or anything. This is not good. This is a bad start. Maybe I should maybe I should watch Big Daddy again. I loved Big Daddy as a kid. It's, it's a bit of a tearjerker, right? By by Sandler standards. Little Nicky is garbage. Yes, Little Nicky is not good. Oh, there, the dive worked great for me there. Explain that shit, Neil deGrasse. They do got the boob head. Oh my God, you guys have already given up? We can still make this. You don't need to give up just because we've fallen off five times.
I've come back from worse than this, man. Did you really call him Neil the Grass? What would you rather me call him? Idiot. You they got hit by the other people that got hit by the thing. Society is so fucked up. Look, you, I told you we didn't have to give up. It's an easy one, man. We actually qualified, like, in the top 65%. Can we talk about the Big Daddy NYC apartment? Is it one of those things where he works, like, you know, part-time as a cashier at, the, like, the local arena or something like that, but he lives in a 2,000-square-foot exposed brick condo in downtown Manhattan? He's a toll booth operator, and he has a sick loft. I kind of remember the, the loft. He has a part-time job because he sued the city of New York for getting his foot run over. Hey man, that was in like 1998, right? I don't know. That was before things got really crazy, I guess. I was, so someone said, how do you feel about Jack and Jill? I actually read a comment about Jack and Jill last night that tickled my fancy. Did you know that um, in one of the seasons of Survivor in the 2010s, the reward challenge reward was uh, getting to see Jack and Jill? The Adam Sandler movie where he plays both Jack and Jill. And then the, the comment that I read, it was on Reddit. It wasn't even on the Survivor Reddit, but it was, it was on like r slash movies. It was like many of the castaways from that season um, described it as the worst movie they've ever seen in their entire lives. But I guess like even if you're on Survivor, getting the chance to watch a movie, even if the movie is kind of like pure ass, it probably feels pretty good compared to what you've been going through. Okay, I, I love it. Tomato Man, we're doing great work here. Okay, honestly, even better. It's a non-divable situation. Holy cow, he's incredible. He's out of control. Just don't dive at the end. Never dive. Do you like 50 first dates? I feel like it's pretty okay. I mean, I, it's one of like the last in that like Silver Age Adam Sandler era. Like, I don't know how long the Golden Age is. I'm pretty sure it's just Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. And then there's like 50 First Dates, The Water Boy, Little Nicky, Big Daddy. Those are in like the Silver Age. And then. All those movies he did with Jennifer Aniston. Mr. Deeds of his Silver Age as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe Click. Wedding Singer, I forgot. Wedding Singer's great. Thanks for telling me about the Wedding Singer. That's some information that would have been useful to me yesterday. Come on. I know everybody's like Paul Thomas Anderson pilled, but like that does, that's not an Adam Sandler movie. When I say Adam Sandler movie, I mean that he wrote it, he directed, he, uh, directed it, he cast it with all of his friends in it. What's going on here? What are we doing? Are we at risk of being assaulted by nerf cannons? Oh wait, I remember this one. Okay, I remember there's, there's one part with a trick. I don't remember what the trick is. That's okay. Uncut Gems is incredible, man. That, it, that, that movie, for me, it's almost... I mean, I'm not saying we can't get along if you don't like it, because I know it was divisive. But for me, it's like a litmus test to see if we have similar taste. If you liked Uncut Gems, we may have similar taste. If you if you thought Uncut Gems was whoa 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 okay but maybe not for you that's fine too 
if you say something insane, like, why was, I just couldn't handle it, they were swearing so much, why was there so much swearing, then I'm stupid, I'm actually just dumb, I'm actually an idiot. Pay out the doubters. I waited for it to go up so that I could get hit by it. For no reason. Uncut Gems is good, but it's the only movie you overrate more than The Lobster. I mean, I, I don't see... For, my brain does not work in a way that you could watch a movie as idiosyncratic as The Lobster and not think that it's either like a one or a nine. If you watch The Lobster and you were like, well, that was unremarkable, I don't know, it was like a six and a half, then I think we don't have the same brain. It's a seven, it's a bit pretentious. Um. Here's, here's something that, and again, I'm not a professional critic. Uh, I don't think pretentious is a valid criticism. I think you have to back that up with some supporting arguments. Why is something bad just because it's pretentious? But because it annoys you? Well, that, that sounds like a problem with you more than a problem with the movie, personally. It insists upon itself. So true. What this movie presupposes is that if Colin Farrell doesn't find a spouse within a month, he'll be turned into a lobster. What this book suggests is, what if he doesn't? Big Daddy's the start of, it, of Adam Sandler's slump. I thought Big Daddy was, like, well-liked by critics, but not that well-liked by the audience. Wait, but you criticize movies for being pretentious all the time, i.e. Schenectady, New York? Okay, but that, like... The Lobster is pretentious. Schenectady, New York is fucking pretentious, man. Like, I... You're a levy... I think that... Mostly because it's my opinion, I don't see any intellectual dishonesty or cognitive dissonance but with having that take. I think that I, I can still sleep at night and feel good about myself. I don't think we're making it here, by the way. Seven people have already made it. Don't climb, dude. The climbing is what kills you. We made it? Holy cow. By the way, you can't hate me, because I know that everybody's like, oh, you, you don't like to see movies in theaters unless they're by Marvel. Um, I saw Schenectady, New York in theaters, by the way, in my little art house theater in the town where I went to college. How much did you contribute to the Schenectady, New York box office gross? Oh, you downloaded it off the Pirate Bay like a scumbag? And yet you spend all your life uh, posting online about how much you love art? Yeah, okay. Curious. You criticize society and yet you take part in it. Hmm, I just think that's interesting. You got me there. I love art, dude, I love movies. That's why I refuse to fiscally support them at all. Who are you arguing with? Mostly myself, I think. Most, mostly just myself. By the way, I do have to tell you, um, I know everyone's been suggesting I need to see everything everywhere all at once. I got a text from my mom yesterday that said me and my, your father just saw an amazing movie at the local movie theater. And I said, oh, what was it? And she said everything everywhere all at once. The movie is, is a cross demographic smash audience hit. Everybody loves it. Mothers, farmers, farmers, moms. I'm alive. I do have to see it. Any chances showing up on uh, Netflix soon? 
No, wait, it's not a cooking show. What the hell? Dude, this is impossible. What, are you just fall forever? That's the joke, you just fall forever? Oh my god. I should have just taken the low path, but now I'm now I'm sunk. Now I'm sunk in. I lose before the finals. You know what? We're learning for the future. We learn we learned something about that obstacle course. Don't dive. Now we learn something about fucking lily leapfrog or whatever it's called. You don't take the center. You you take the the bottom. Viewer lobby. We're not going to do a viewer lobby. It's not going to happen. Can your movie brain prove me wrong that everything Jamie Lee Curtis does is pogged up? Um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, she's, she's got a sleeper hit filmography. Original Halloween, Fish Called Wanda is hilarious. Freaky Friday is fine. Like, it's not a... Oh, that's right. Wait, she's Tim Allen's wife in, um, in Christmas with the Cranks, which is truly horrendous. Everything, everywhere, all at once. True Lies is, is pretty okay. Activia commercials. She she crushes it in the Activia commercials, man. It makes me cry every time. Knives Out. She's good in Knives Out. Can I say something, though? I feel like, and maybe this is deserved, but when you're like an old, established actor or actress, I think that you are just like... You no longer have to act. You just have to like be in the movie and then you can, you're coasting off of your earlier career. Like there's maybe not in like an Oscar bait movie, but in a in a movie that's like, you know, an action movie or a comedy or something like that, just you being in the movie is cuz you're not in the movie as a character in, anymore. You're in the movie so that people watching at home go like, "Oh holy shit, that's Jamie Lee Curtis. I love her." Oh, holy cow, that's uh, Robert De Niro. He was so good in Taxi Driver 50 years ago. And uh, Dirty Grandpa, like eight years ago. Wow, is that Dean Cain? <laughs> what the hell? This movie has Dean Cain, James Woods, and Kevin Sorbo? What the hell am I watching, man? Miyazaki, let me out of the car. I don't want to go to the movie theater. Oh, dude, now this is an obstacle course. Oh, wow, is that Al Pacino from Jack and Jill? I'm such a big fan of his music and his acting. I need your thoughts on the 2005 film uh, Monster-in-Law. Uh, uh, the movie where uh, Jennifer Lopez is getting married and uh, she meets her mother-in-law for the first time as played in a glorious return to acting form by Jane Fonda, who of course maybe is most famous for her uh, protesting, but also was um, the lead character in the sci-fi film Barbarella. Um, only she finds out her mother-in-law is more like a monster-in-law. Um, I've never seen it. I've never seen the movie. You had to watch it on a Greyhound bus. That seems like one of the, like a Greyhound bus classic, which is very weird because I also saw another Jennifer Lopez uh, movie on a Greyhound bus. On a bus trip to New York from my hometown, they made us watch Made in Manhattan, the movie where Jennifer Lopez is part of the hospitality staff at a Manhattan hotel, but then she fulfills her dreams and marries a rich guy who stayed in her hotel. What a classic, aspirational tale for all the, the young uh, women out there. Inspiring. If you give it your all, you too could marry a wealthy patron of the business that you happen to work at. Oh, come off it. It's it's just fun. It's just a fun movie. 
I'm pure anus here. Holy cow. Somebody qualified. That person is going to go on to win this. Oh my god, the low grab is so annoying, dude. I have three points. Okay, we got to go sickle mode. That had to happen. I don't even know what to do here. I don't even know what to do here. Oh my god, the low gravity! It's so annoying! You gotta skip the second one. When did this shit become, I wanna be the guy, man? It's crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That actually saved us. Skip it, skip it, skip, move out of the way! Okay, we, again, we learn, every time we lose, we learn a little bit. This is what happens when you don't play, like, a, a game as a service for, like, a year and a half. They're like, we took all the shit that you already knew and turned it on its damn head just to give the veneer of novelty. What about the 2009 banger Bride Wars? Okay, so I did not get to uh, see Bride Wars. I believe that that's Kate Hudson and Anne Hathaway. There was a real era, like a Bridezilla era of, um, of cinema. But on that same bus trip, we did watch another movie that takes place in New York that has to deal with brides. It's called 27 Dresses. It stars James Marsden and, uh, and Katherine Heigl. Um, the premise of the movie is that Katherine Heigl has um, been to 27 weddings as a bridesmaid, but has never been married herself. What a sad story. She has 27 close friends. Oh, oh. Oh, life is so hard. It's so tragic that she's been an integral part of 27 weddings for her incredibly robust social circle, but hasn't yet been married herself. And here's the twist. She's like 28 years old. Shit makes me sick. 27 Dresses is my friend's favorite movie. Oh, it's my best friend's movie. Best friend's favorite movie. Okay, okay. I mean, Josh's brother's favorite movie is Norbit. So, like, and he's just, a, like, a guy. So, I'm not necessarily judging. I'm just saying. One of the other things that bothers me... I mean, it's just... It's so artificial, right? But the, in 27 Dresses... James Marsden and Katherine Heigl bond over their mutual love of the song Benny and the Jets by Elton John. Which just strikes me as one of those things where it's like, oh, you've, you've been to 27 weddings and you haven't uh, found anybody yet that likes one of the most popular songs ever written, um, sung by one of the most popular living artists of our time. like. It took you that long to, to find somebody who likes Benny and the Jets? Just seems surprising to me. Okay, I don't fuck around anymore. What the hell is this? That was fine. Acceptable. I have watched the John Hamm movie Tag. I mean, so Tag and Game Night are kind of like the, the comedy version of Armageddon and Deep Impact. My take has been that, you know, Tag is like a, a, a six. I think it's reasonably fun. Um, maybe like a five. I don't know. But Game Night is like an eight. Game Night is like an underrated neo-comedy classic. Did you, is that true? Did Jeremy Renner say he would not be in Infinity War because he was filming Tag? Because he, he really, I, if I remember correctly, he does not show up at all until Endgame where he says, don't give me hope. 
some fruit. Count the fruit, avoid the rising slime. When the screens show the quantity of a type of fruit, stand on the tile matching that fruit to survive. I am going to congratulate the doubters. I don't understand what you want from me. First time hearing this, but yeah, it's true. Count the fruit. Okay. We got three coconuts. We got two blackberries. What the hell is happening? What's happening? Three coconuts. Holy cow. You guys are crazy. What? <laughs> Am I stupid? What happened? It said two. It did. It, it said three. It did not say three. I, the screen to me, I swear to you, in my brain, whatever I saw, I interpreted it as a three. You read the countdown timer? Oh my god. This system's design is why, like, one in six airplanes crashed until, like, the 1980s. You gotta... Maybe, like, could maybe you could use, like, a Roman numeral or something for the countdown, or just, like, a graphic of, like, a clock ticking down? It's too... It's too ambiguous, man. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Hereditary? It's like an incredible horror movie. <clears throat> it's an unbelievable uh, horror movie. It's Kino. It's amazing. Midsummer is better. So I, I don't think that's the popular take. I actually agree. But I think both of... I mean, I, I would give both of them a 10, honestly. I mean, I just gave Game Night an 8, so I don't feel that uncomfortable stretching the scale a little bit. I like them both. I watched half of Hereditary, thought it was so bad. You might want to... I would say that's one worth finishing. And I say that not really thinking that you're going to finish it and be like, it's amazing. But you should finish it because you're probably going to hate it even more at the end. I feel like people who don't vibe with Hereditary particularly get annoyed at the ending. So if you want to have a strong reaction, you might as well invest like the extra hour to finish that shit off. And then find like some like-minded individuals on uh, the IMDB forums. I mean, like this movie was just so weird so weird i mean i'm not saying it was i like i get what they were going for but it was just so weird they were definitely high on pod news when they made this movie it's kind of pretentious too okay then go back to watching doolittle i'm sick of this oh it's pretentious was well, so every movie has to be like John Wick 1. This, this shit is getting crazy. A movie can't try to be art house. It just has to back into it accidentally. John Wick is pretentious? No, John Wick 3 is pretentious. And I love it, by the way. I think I love pretentious movies. I can do it this time. I can do I, I know what I must do. John Wick 3 is pretentious because it starts to get into like the... Anytime they get into a problem, they just hand wave it away by giving six golden pirate coins to somebody and then they go, very good, Mr. Wick. This will cost you one pocket full of doubloons. Are you sure you're willing to pay that? This will invoke the sigil of Tarasis. Are you, are you sure you, that's a step you're willing to take, Jonathan? I don't have a choice. Very good, Mr. Wick. Sleep well. I know I'm supposed to skip it, but honestly, on that one, I actually thought I had a pretty good line. 
whatever. I'll take I'll take my I'll, I'll take my points. We skip the middle. We skip the middle. We skip the middle. Skip the middle. Take the end section. Seven of twenty-six have already qualified. That hurts to hear. That hurts my heart. Sorry. All you need is perfect play. Don't fall. That's all I ask of you. <laughs> Hereditary is literally just paranormal activity for people who don't like found footage films. Apocalypse Now is literally just Kramer versus Kramer for people that are scared of divorce. You see, I can just make shit up too. The Godfather is literally just 2001 A Space Odyssey for people who love the Mafia. Anyone can construct a sentence, okay? You're not special. For your information, it's not that I don't like found footage films, it's that they make me throw up. So please don't make fun of my affliction, please. If I, I would ask you politely, Navigate the pipes to make it to the finish line. If you regress The Godfather to the mean, it's really just an average movie. I mean, dude, honestly, if you regress The Godfather and The Godfather 2 to the mean, they're actually the most average movies of all time. Norbit is literally Casablanca for people who love turkey ass. Honestly, you, did you take that out of Roger Ebert's review at the time? That sounds very erudite. Go ahead, send me. Oh, or don't. I'm in last place. Okay. They say navigate the pipes. That makes me think there's going to be some form of a, a maze involved. Dude, I'm in the McDonald's play place for real right now. It's pandemonium. Okay, that's my mistake. Put me in the pipe. Put me in the pipe. Am I crazy or am I actually like doing okay at this? I mean, they really put some sauce on it. They were like, navigate the pipes. It's really just a, a, a lot of walking straight ahead. <laughs> Whoa! What a jump! Only 16 minutes. You gotta hang on to the trapeze? Whoa! Oh, he got tired! His arms got tired! They're not gonna make it. Put me in the... I'm done. I'm, I'm dead. I did not throw. His arms got tired. That's the first. They keep introducing this shit that I've never seen before. Since when did you? You're moving at the speed of like a tortoise. And then when the dude let go from the trapeze, he shot forward at like uh, the speed of a fighter jet from Top Gun. I've never seen this shit. Before. I'm losing it because I played for two hours. Um, wait, wait, I'd like to, uh, you know what, on the bright side, at least we don't have to do Penguin Pool Party. How did we not see any of these damn games when we played for two hours last week? This is crazy. Because last time it was sponsored, that doesn't even make any sense. It had the sponsored map pool. I mean, I like the maps, they just... Maybe it's a good thing that every Fall Guys um, update, they add like one new mechanic that breaks the laws of physics. I can't believe I won my first run of the game. 
Like that, that was the, the perfect damn storm. Oh, you know what? These are the East Coast games. So true. I was laughing because I found myself on r slash Bellingham again last night. I was reading about, um, there, there, of course, if you scroll down r slash Bellingham for uh, more than 30 seconds, you're guaranteed to see a thread complaining about driving. But this one was said, um, hey, is it just me or are Bellingham drivers really bad? It was downvoted heavily. Um, I guess Bellingham... Uh, citizens don't like having their driving criticized, which is interesting because they love criticizing others dri uh, when they drive, especially if they have uh, Canadian license plates. Anyway, I was laughing because someone left a reply that was like, so true, drivers in Western Washington are so bad. I'm usually in the left lane doing 20 miles an hour over the speed limit and I get stuck behind people all the time. Get out of the way. We have places to go. I'm from the East Coast and that's just how we drive over there. And then like one reply just ate him alive. It was like, you know, people from the East Coast don't have a monopoly on uh, having places to go. And I was like, you know what? That's so true. I don't know if that's actually a stereotype. Like, if that's something that people from the East Coast do a lot. Oh! Dude, on the West Coast, everyone just has, like, a more leisurely uh, pace to their life. It's crazy. I'm from uh, Ann Arbor. And in Ann Arbor, everybody's busy all the time. People are constantly always doing something in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I guess it's technically not the East Coast, but you get the idea. Why the shots in Michigan? I, I'm taking shots at everybody, okay? Bellingham, Michigan. Coquitlam. It's because West, West Coasters have three extra hours in the day. Boom. 375 units. $133 million in net worth. Boom. taking a sip take shots in Nebraska I don't even know like what Nebraska is I'm actually a little upset the most recent thing that we said about Nebraska was when I was watching 90 Day Fiance like three years ago I was like Nebraska's beautiful there's mountains everywhere and then people were like that's not what Nebraska is actually like one of the flattest states in the union and I was just thinking back to the like on 90 Day Fiance, they were surrounded by like snow peaked mountains, 360 degrees. And I, I, it was the first time I realized that TLC would lie to me. How dare they? It's got bluffs. Isn't a bluff like just a, it's like a small mountain? Yes. Okay, well then, that's fine. The bluffs aren't even in Nebraska. They're in Iowa. What the hell is a bluff, man? Also, what the hell is this? Hungry, hungry rhinos? I'm from Utah, if you want mountains. I mean, if we were ranking states by natural beauty, what I've seen of Utah in all those Church of Latter-day Saints... Netflix documentaries definitely looks gorgeous. Colorado, Montana, the Dakotas. It's got some beautiful stuff for sure. Was I mean, Washington and Oregon, you know, as well, without a doubt. Alaska, I, I, I imagine for sure. What the hell was that? You ever see South Cincinnati? You haven't lived until you've seen downtown... Cincinnati during the Chili Bowl, man. I know, I know. People like to rag on Cincinnati, but I'm telling you, the city really comes alive during the Chili Bowl. I'm insane. You know what this is? This is like when you're walking around downtown 
and you see someone just going like, ah, like Monka Giga featuring Robert Downey Jr. And you just position yourself in the crowd in such a way that if it pops off, you're not going to be the target number one. I got a lot of practice with that one. What does Canada think of Banger Main? Um, I literally, the only thing I know about Banger Main is um, from the song King of the Road. Old boxcar, midnight train, destination Banger Main. Old worn out suit and shoes. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke. Old stogies that and I don't have to apologize unlike you because I am a stud. We don't need to skip that one. That's good to know for next time. That was not that was not well executed. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's pretty fine. Dude, this is good. Give me the silver. We stayed on two feet. I'm making it. Oh, I'm making it. Please never do this bit again. Why, did like your dad write the song or something? Is that your favorite song of all time? And I'm like, the, the sanctity of it has eroded now? Get over it. I don't understand the problem. My dad is Roger Miller. My grandpa used to play that song every, like anytime I was at his house. He would play that and like the England swings like a pendulum do. Bobby's on bicycles two by two. Westminster Abbey, the Tower Big Ben. The rosy red cheeks of the little children. Such like pro-England propaganda, man. I thoroughly enjoyed your 20 minutes till dawn. Let's play. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy it. Enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Thoughts on Quebec making English illegal? Come on, that can't possibly be true. I don't, <laughs> I'd question where you're getting your news from. That can't be true. It's true. Where'd you get? What's your source for this? I don't know. To be honest with you, I kind of like, I respect it just because it's uh, audacious. I guess maybe you shouldn't ooh, just admire uh, policy for uh, ambition, but. Uh, you got to admit that, I mean, that's a pretty, wait, wait, I got to hand it to them on that one. That's a pretty bold piece of policy. So I'm going to say that I respect it. I'm going to say that under all circumstances, you have to hand it to them. I mean, you did that to yourself, by the way, just so you know. I'll wait, I'll wait. This is a piece of crap. I want that one. I want this one. I'm gonna cut you off. Did he get it? Am I gonna qualify? I can make it over these fools. I'm mad. It's okay, if I know anything about Hoop Legends, the more people that get eliminated by, uh, sorry, the more people that win the easier the game becomes, because most of everybody else is not any good at it! Eventually, you're only left with the baddies. Of which I may be one. You got... I'm dead. Oh my god, we had, we had six points of rings stolen from us. I haven't made the finals in like an hour, man. Get me out of here.